Well, I think the best way I can describe it is shock. The mayor of Quinty uh, West is as surprised you know, so as anyone else. Obviously, to the community and the rest of it, it's uh, real upsetting uh, the fact that uh, this has happened in the first place. John Williams, who's not related, worked with the base commander on a weekly basis. The base and the city have always had a good working relationship back and forth, so uh, that's the way the relationship has been since uh, he's become uh, became wing commander. And uh, I was just meeting with him last week and discussing city issues and stuff. So um, as we would normally with any wing commander, we had a pretty good relationship. Those regular meetings with the mayor will be no more since the 46-year-old Russell Williams is behind bars. He's accused of two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of sexual assault. People who live in this town near the airbase can't believe what's happened. It's shocking. Um, I've lived in this town my whole life, and I mean, lately in the last few years, a lot of um, a lot of disturbing things have been going on in this town, so it doesn't feel safe anymore. Is <laughs> that something like that would happen? Well, I think that the airbase needs to do a lot of checking into it. The wing obviously is a community uh, unto itself, but uh, it can't be very successful without being closely connected to the communities that surround it. Uh, that's uh, been clear to me as as a very important element to develop. Colonel Williams believes in maintaining strong ties between the military and civilian populations, which makes what happened even more unsettling. Certainly to the families uh, involved, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers and uh, are with them. And it's a tragedy. Um, and the fact now that uh, this has been identified as someone who might be from this area, I think is, uh, is, uh, is unbelievable. So it's, it's very difficult. And, Certainly, I say uh, thanks to the police for doing their work, and, and uh, we'll see that the justice system uh, hopefully does its. Matthew Burns, QNet News, CFB Trenton.